2020 Atlantic hurricane season is still ongoing. And of course, Hurricane Sally is still raging on. On Wednesday, Hurricane Sally drenched parts of Florida with four months worth of rain in just over four hours. Hundreds of persons who were close to the Florida-Alabama border were being rescued from high flood waters which were brought on by Hurricane Sally on Wednesday. The authorities also expect that many more persons could be in danger and may need to be rescued as the days progress. According to the authorities, they had over 30 inches of rain in Pensacola. And this 30 inches of rain will represent approximately four months of rain in just a few hours. Hurricane Sally has weakened since making landfall as a Category 2 hurricane last Wednesday morning, but it is still causing damaging and devastating impacts on the areas on which it has made landfall. The toll of its damage can be seen across southern states, and it should be more visible as the days progress. Hurricane Sally was a tropical depression on Wednesday night, and it was last located about 10 miles northwest of Troy in Alabama. Hurricane Sally had maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour and was moving northeast at 9 miles per hour. While the officials continue to maintain the watches and warnings, Sally is still causing torrential rain over eastern Alabama and western Georgia. Therefore, for some areas, the watches and warnings have been discontinued. In Pensacola and other parts of Florida and Alabama, some areas were submerged by flood waters. Rivers were approaching dangerous levels and numerous counties were under curfews in an effort to keep the residents safe and secure. According to the officials, they are still evaluating and ensuring that they can put in place a life-saving recovery mission. They have also stated that they need to be able to do that specific job in regards to doing rescue and recovery. Hurricane Sally has unleashed approximately 30 inches of rain from the Florida Panhandle to Mobile Bay in Alabama. And this is very historical and will be described as an historic and catastrophic flooding event. There are and there exist threatening flood waters to even more communities as it moves north. In Escampia County, which includes Pensacola, at least 377 persons have been rescued from flooded neighborhoods. It's going to be a long time for residents to come out of this flood disaster. It has also been mentioned that there could be thousands of additional evacuations. According to eyewitnesses, the states that have been damaged by Hurricane Sally looks like a war zone. Many persons have gone to assist their homes after Sally has gone and damaged their housing in their various communities. According to some persons, there is a lot of destruction. Homes have been destroyed, roofs are gone, and many persons have no service, no power, and they have no internet. Of course, Sally made landfall as a Category 2 hurricane near Gulf Shores around 4.45 a.m. and it had sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. The storm continues to move at a slow pace and is now moving at around 7 miles per hour and is also unleashing damaging deluge across Alabama and the Florida Panhandle by Wednesday. Some areas already had collected more than 24 inches of rain and may receive up to 35 inches of rain by the end of the storm night on Wednesday.
The center of the storm is expected to move into Georgia and South Carolina by Thursday. Across West Pensacola in Florida, there are trees that are down and flooding can be seen across that area of Florida as well. A newly built Pensacola Bay Bridge, which connects the city of Gulf Breeze, is also missing. It was damaged by Hurricane Sally on Tuesday. The section that was damaged is known as Three Mile Bridge. Waters have turned streets into rivers in Pensacola and at least eight rivers in southwest Alabama and the western area of the Florida Palandal are expected to reach major flood stages by late Wednesday. The Weather Service has declared a flash flood emergency for severe threat to human life and catastrophic damage from a flash flood. The warning zones covers parts of coastal Alabama and the Florida Panhandle, including Gulf Shores and Pensacola. Footage continues to affect 500,000 customers in Alabama and Florida. Rainfall totals of 10 to 35 inches are possible from Mobile Bay to Tallahassee in Florida. Sally came ashore 16 years to the day that a Category 3 hurricane Ivan struck roughly the same areas. Thanks for watching and be safe.